One of the real problems in this whole arena is the transparency of what actually happens with electronic waste. We don't really know uh, where electronics are going and how much is recycled. There don't seem to be really good figures because there's always this loophole of some of it being shipped as uh, to be refurbished or reused. We don't know how many are sent to other countries. There's just nothing. Journalist Adam Minter has been tracking e-waste for over 16 years. And Hong Kong is a wonderful place to launder scrap. If you send something to um, Hong Kong and you have an agent there, that agent can then receive your container and change the manifest so that it, uh, it originates no longer from the U.S. or Mexico or wherever. It now originates from Hong Kong. Because of that, you, I mean, uh, nobody knows where stuff going in or out of Hong Kong is going. Quite a bit of it is going into China, but an enormous volume is going elsewhere. No matter where the scrap ends up, toxins from the e-scrap can take years to clean up. Southern Taiwan was Guiyu's predecessor and one of the earliest centers where low-end e-waste recycling boomed. Twenty years later, Taiwan is still trying to rid toxins from lakes and streams. <laughs>